I've already set up the static side anchor and laid out 150 meters of slackline for this demonstration. I've also prepared the tension side anchor and I'm going to use a Langtite 10 lever tensioner today. To facilitate derigging, I have included a Slack Pro line loose detensioning system with a aluminum line lock. And last but not least, I also included a Slack Pro line scale dyno in the system to monitor the tension while we tighten the slack line. Unlike conventional tensioning techniques where you attach the slack line to the tensioning system, when using the line grip technique, you first attach both ends of the slack line to the anchor points. Always ensure the locker pins are seated right before putting tension on. Pre-tension just lightly by hand, as much as you can easily handle. There's really no need to strain yourself here because we will use the line grip to help us pre-tension nicely before starting the actual tensioning of the system. All you need for this is a shackle or a binder. Remove the loose clamping plate of the line grip and place it on the slack line, preferably with the load plate facing downwards. Reinsert the loose clamping plate and if you have a high line grip, also insert the retainer pin which will secure the loose clamping plate from unlatching and thus guarantee that the line grip stays on the line no matter how much it shakes. Now attach a binder or a shackle as I am using here to the load plate of the line grip. A webbing pulley with ball bearings would obviously be the best solution here but it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Thread the loose end of the slack line coming from the line lock through the shackle push the line grip back and pull. Now this is a simple 2 to 1 pulley system which basically does nothing else than feed the webbing into the top of your line lock and pull up the slack below. I'll try to show you again as you can see here the webbing moves into the line lock and the slack is pulled out below. Same as before no need to strain yourself here just give it a few good tugs and as you can see our 150 meter line is in the air already. Push the line grip towards the line lock and remove the pre-tensioning shackle. It's time to attach our tensioning system and get to business. As I mentioned before, we're going to use a Slack Pro Lantite 10 kN lever tensioner today. But since the line grip is compatible with any tensioning system out there, it doesn't really matter what kind you use. First thing you do now is extend it to its full length. In the case of a lever tensioner, we set it to chain freewheeling mode and pull out all the chain to the tensioning side. And for safety reasons, always get loose webbing out of the way. Never step on it. Now you can move your line grip out on the webbing as far as possible. And at the end, give it a little tug, but make sure you keep your fingers clear of these hooks as they easily bite out a piece of skin if you get it in there. Check for proper alignment. Check the shackle. And check the attachment point of your tensioning system. If everything's okay, start tensioning away. Make sure the slack webbing that you're pulling in is out of the way. And tension. The line tight has the advantage to other standard chain hoists because it enables you to turn the lever a full 360 degrees round which speeds up tensioning in the beginning when the tension is low significantly. All you need to do is support it with your free hand against uh, twisting. It is very important though to remember to take in the slack between the line grip and the line lock regularly. This, uh, what you see here is actually too much already. Pull it tight and from time to time check up on your gear and the attachment stuff. Better to check once too often, safety first. And always check the seating of the locker pin when you pull in slack. It's also a good idea to have an eye on the line grip from time to time. If everything's okay, continue tensioning. Let's speed things up a little. After about one to two feet, pause and pull in the slack. 
the higher the tension gets, uh, the more important it is to do this regularly. It's for your own safety in case the line grip slips. You have a backup to take the load immediately, prevent further damage to your slack line or other gear, or yourself. When using the line tight, make sure that when you attach uh, the shackle to the line grip, that the head of the pin points away from your hand, otherwise you might get injured when the line grip comes near the lever. Also make sure that you don't pull the red Omega link into the device, which might lead to damage to the line tight or the Omega link. Now pull in the slack last time and let's see what tension we have reached with one chain. Four kilonewtons, about 800 pounds. Set the mode selector to the release position, check up on the line lock attachment and transfer the load from the line grip to the line lock and your anchor point. As soon as the load is off the line tight, switch it to chain freewheeling mode and pull out all the chain from the device. And then move away the line grip from the anchor point as far as possible to fully extend your tensioning system. Again, give it a little tug. Keep your fingers out of the way of the hooks. Check for parallel alignment and that all the hooks latch correctly. And center that shackle. If everything looks good, continue tensioning. After a few seconds only, we have retransferred the full load from the line lock to the line grip. As you can see here, we have our four kilonewton again. And now for the purpose of demonstration, we will skip the next five minutes that are identical to the last session and jump right to where the chain is hauled in. Hey, this is cool. Why can't we do this in real life? Again, remember not to pull the Omega link into the device. Let's see, we have 7.5 kilonewtons now. Almost enough for a 150 meter line. Pull in the slack. Check your anchor system. Double check before you load the line lock. And transfer the load from the line grip to the line lock and the anchor around the tree. Now say uh, we want to reach a full 8 kilonewton of tension on this slack line. We don't need to fully extend the tensioning device to achieve this because we're just missing about 1 kilonewton. So extend your pulley system just the length that you will probably need, plus an extra foot maybe. This will ensure that we don't lose unnecessary tension when transferring the load from the line grip back to the line lock and the anchor on the tree. Now this is one of the biggest advantages of the line grip technique. We don't have to decide beforehand where exactly we have to attach the tensioning system to the slack line or even calculate uh, how much stretch we have to pull out of the slack line to reach the desired tension or sag. As estimated, it took us about two feet to reach the desired 8.2 kilonewton. Now taking the final slack, and by the way, never put your finger inside the line lock. And as always, check your anchor and gear before loading it. Safety first. The pin. Nice. Transfer the load from the line grip to the anchor point. Now instead of moving the line grip out on the line, 
In case of the Highline grip, unclip the retainer pin first, then unlatch the loose clamping plate, take the line grip from the line. And that's it. And what you now have is a line grip unique, perfectly soft pointed long line. Nothing but a slack line from tree to tree. No tensioning device in the system to distract your walk or distort the feel of your slack line. Just 99.9% .9 webbing all the way. Mm -hmm.